Hello everyone, I am Sandesh Koirala and for the class project, me and my friend Saurabh Chivakoti have been building a machine learning model that can detect machine generated fake news. Before I go ahead and demo the model itself, I want to talk to you guys about fake news. So what fake news means is that if you go ahead and search for machine generated text on Google, you can find hundreds of such models that can build strings of text based on the input that you provide. So I'll go ahead and show you some models that create fake text based on the string of text that you input. Here, um, here's one of those models. So what we're going to do is we're going to input uh, Donald Trump won the election 2020 and we'll submit and see what this model does. Anyone with internet access can go ahead and create a bunch of fake string and pr uh, spread it over the internet. This can be used to produce fake information. So you can see that these models are really vulnerable. So we came up with this idea of building a, a natural language processing model to detect machine generated news such as this one. And we can now move on to the, to the model that we created. So we built this model on Python. Here, let me explain to you what this model does. We import some libraries from sklearn for machine learning. We also import natural language processing toolkit from Python. We import pandas for data pre-processing. We also import regular expression. And now we import the data set that we will use for the model to learn. We obtain this model from Kaggle. We import the data and save it as content train.csv on our machine so as you can see here we saved our data as a pandas data frame our data has five columns the first one is ID column the second one has the title of the news third one is the author of the news the fourth one is the text from the news and the fifth one is the label here you can see some sample rows from our data set the data set has 20,800 data the ID column is just an ID for each news text the title column has the title for the news the author column has the author for the news the text column is where the news string is and the label means either the news is fake or not this one you can see here is one means that this news is not fake Whereas this one here, zero, this one's a fake news. Now we'll apply a bunch of pre-processing on the data set we acquired. We'll look at the number of rows that has null data. Here the ID row has zero null data. The title row has 558. The author row has 1957 null data the text row has 39 we don't really care about the author and title being null but if there's any row that has the text column is null we cannot use that to train the model so we're dropping all the rows here that have null as the data on the text field so after dropping all the mm, null data what we get is a 20203 row of data set that does not have any null data on the text field after that, we remove the rows that are duplicate of another rows on the data set. Here, after removing the duplicate data set, we see 19,868 rows of data that do not have any duplicate within itself. After we drop the duplicate rows, we concatenate the title and text into a single column here as title text. After that, we will drop the ID column, authors column, text column, and title column because these do not provide any significant information after we created this column so here this is our final data that will be used to train our model this has the label 
column and title text column this text contains the title and the text of the news and this one uh, identifies if the news is fake or not fake now we have written this function what this function basically does is it cleans the text and removes all these punctuation marks and stop words from our text so a stop word is a word that does not provide any meaning on literature some of the stop words are you know, i am is or they, they did not provide any significant meaning to the text so we remove all those words from this column so what we end up with is this bunch of text that does not have any punctuation marks and stop words now it is important that we understand that machine learning model cannot be trained on text data so what we need to do is we need to convert this text data into some sort of integers or vectors so our machine learning models can learn from these data so what we did was we imported several different vectorizer methods from sklearn so what this count vectorizer method does is it creates a vector with the frequency of each word appearing in the text as you can see that we have also applied tfidf vectorizer what this one does is that uh, with creating all the frequencies of words in the text this one also takes into consideration the weights of the words in the text after many trial runs with the data we realized that the tfidf vectorizer wa was producing better results so we decided to go with the tfid factorizer and we set the label column as the y-axis for the training model now we move to model creation you can see that we divided the data into train data and test data uh, after that we applied several classifier models on the data to see which one performed better after applying many classifiers we realized that the support vector machine was more accurate on predicting the results with 95 percent accuracy and that is why we decided to go with the uh, linear support vector machine as our training model we ran some more tests here and then we tuned the parameters for the optimum accuracy here we applied different methods to tune the parameters now here's where you can see the final product let me show you how this works so what we did is we created a function predict text that should be over here what this function does is it takes the text as input and then removes the stop words like we did for the train data and then and predicts the output with the model and if the output is zero it prints this text is machine generated or else if the output is one function prints the text is written by humans uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a string of text and then pass the text to the function predict text and see what it does so we're going to use the same text that we generated earlier from a fake text generator I'm going to copy this and paste it here and uh, run the function see here it says boiler this text is machine generated we're going to call this function with other text that was definitely not generated by machines so here I have this editorial from the short run open on my browser what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this uh, and paste it right here and call the function here you can see this text was written by human so this concludes our demo thank you for watching I hope you learned something